Ephesians chapter 5 verses 8 through 14. Arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. Brothers and sisters, you were once darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Live as children of light, for light produces every kind of goodness and righteousness and truth. Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the fruitless works of darkness, rather expose them, for it is shameful even to mention the things done by them in secret. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore, it says, Awake, O sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. The Word of the Lord Paul is trying to get the believers to understand and to walk in the light of holiness. Have you noticed, most sinful acts take place in darkness or at least undercover. Morality is doing the right thing when no one else is watching. A practical consequence of walking in the light is that you would be living an unashamed righteous life. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. The first letter of John chapter 1 verses 5 to 7, Now this is the message that we have heard from him and proclaim to you, God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say, we have fellowship with him, while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sin. Verse 10, Try to learn what is pleasing to the Lord. Exodus chapter 20 verses 1 to 17, tells us how to please God, when the Lord God spoke directly to the people, and gave them the Ten Commandments. The Bible tells us that when God delivered the Ten Commandments the people readily agree to follow them. We too agree to follow them but don't we need to recommit ourselves when responding to everyday challenges? Sure we do, but then the Holy Spirit, our conscience nudges us in the right direction. Do we recommit ourselves to the Ten Commandments, or go our own way? Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 7, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, on your own intelligence rely not. In all your ways be mindful of Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes, Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. John chapter 8 verse 12, Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. 